Um, my love interest is played, um, my hometown love, in, love interest is played by Amanda Christensen mm-hmm. and Rosa Blasi plays my Miami-based girlfriend. And Rosa has been, you know, she's on TV all the time. She's one of those familiar faces. She was the lead on Strong Medicine. Okay. Um, but she's fantastic in it. The guest stars, I mean, everybody. It's just, I'm really, really proud of it. Um, awesome. I think it's sort of like a mix between Cheers and New Girl, uh. but sexy. It's like a gay Cheers meets New Girl. That's fun. Um, yeah. So yeah. I, I think it's a lot of fun. I'm really, really proud okay. of it. And um, we're hoping that the, the girls at Dinah enjoy it. It seems awesome. it seems like the right audience. I'm awesome. hoping. Okay. Second shot with Jill Bennett. It's uh, Dinah Shore on April the 5th. Mm-hmm. And going to be having screening there. And then for the rest of us, that's including international. Everybody can see this. Everyone. Anyone okay. anywhere in the world can watch this. All right. They'll be able to go to your website. Yes. And is Jill Bennett. Secondshot.tv. Okay. Sec- Secondshot.tv. They can get to it from my website, okay. JillBennett.com, or the Facebook page, which is Second Shot Series. Okay. But also from my Facebook page, there will be links all over the place. Great. Yes. Okay. Sixth and seventh only. Exclusively. That's it. Only. That's it. Go Who knows when it it's coming back? <laughs> I'm excited about that. Yeah. We'll be there for for sure. Um, okay, so JillBennett.com if you can't remember any of these other addresses to find uh, Second Shot. Get into it. What else you got upcoming? Do you have any other projects happening? I do. Um, there's, I mean, that's going to keep you pretty busy. It's ke- it's kept me busy so far. Yeah. Um, it's It's been, uh, my spring has, has been Second Shot. Um, mm-hmm. I, a, a very good friend of mine um, named Rakefet Abergel uh, produced a what Breaking cool Bad. I know, she's she's amazing. <laughs> wow. She produced uh, this um, takeoff on Breaking Bad okay. called Breaking Fat. And it's about three, as she describes, big girls okay. who are meth dealers. Boot, boot. And um, the, the joke is, is that most meth addicts are not big girls. Okay. So they can sort of hide, you know, in plain sight. Right. Um, I play a detective <laughs> that brings down their ring. Um, uh, with David Krumholtz. He's uh, mm-hmm. he's on the show Numbers. Who, mm-hmm. Again, another actor. If you saw him, he's, oh, I know him. We play two uh, sort of sadistic detectives that uh-huh. take their girls down. And my um, episodes are coming up. Uh, I think I'm in three and four. Okay. Um, it's already up online. Um, it's called Breaking Fat. There's a Facebook page. It's on YouTube. It's okay. all over the place. And then I have a little guest star on... Um, another web series called Kittens in a Cage. Okay. And it's And I know how you love cats. I do. Yeah, this yeah. is about women in prison. Oh, yeah. Yes. Okay. And it's fantastic. Um, the woman uh, that that uh, produced it and directed it and is in it, her name is Jillian Armamonte. You probably, you, I know you've seen her in movies. Okay. You looked her up. She's she's on everything ever created. Okay. And um, this is hysterical. It's It's women in prison. Um, I unfortunately didn't get to be one of the women in prison. Which oh, is I was like, a, are you a badass a messed in up prison? Fantasy of mine. Um, <laughs> but no, I, I I just play a little guest star in it. It's really quick, but um, uh-huh. I'm I was really uh, excited to be a part of it. This this group of women is amazing, and this this web series is going to be fantastic. So, oh my gosh! And that'll be out later in the spring. So awesome! Yeah, there's a lot cracking. Yes, as we, as, there is. Yeah, I'm just really so happy at how, how you continue to work. You just That's all you can do. That's all you it. can do. But you you find the most fascinating projects. These projects, I mean, I just don't see them anywhere. You or know? sometimes they find me. I was lucky enough. I, I Breaking Fat and Kittens in a Cage, they mm-hmm. approached me, which was very flattering. And it, I said, oh, okay, well, my work online must be garnering something because these people just, uh, mm-hmm. you know, asked me to be a part of it, which was, which was a huge honor. So. Yes, yes. Awesome. Well, we're going to be supporting all of these projects, some of them coming up this summer, some of them coming up a little later. And of course, Dinah Shore will be. <sighs> I hope we can. Can we can we maybe bring a couple people with us? If we of can? course. Yeah. Oh, we're going to we get some tickets away. We got some tickets. Yeah. We got some tickets. Yes. Wait, calm down, Lesbian. Now yeah. stop. <laughs> Yeah, that's just and tremendous. the cast is going to be there. It's not just me, but the rest of the cast is going to awesome. be there. So we're going to have a good time, meet okay. and greet, and all that good stuff. Okay. We'll do shots together. Sweet. Yeah, we're giving away shot glasses at Dinah. Okay, so yeah. listen, if you're interested in going to Dinah Shore this spring, what is that? Spring. spring? It's in a few weeks. Yeah, it's in or a in couple a week. of weeks. Who knows? Right. It's you, coming up. That's right. We want you to be there. Um, I think we're going to go over to Twitter and pick some names here shortly. Calm down.
down, Lesbian. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna do that. We're gonna come over there and with Jill, and we're gonna uh, pick some random names here. So make sure you're following underscore the Satin Lounge. Okay? Are you doing it? Well, my numbers are jumping. This is good. Okay. <laughs> we're gonna get you to the diner so that you can check out Second Shot with uh, Jill Bennett. Um, has there been anything that has been completely delightfully surprising to you? Um, in your career as an actress, as, I don't know, maybe as an out actress, but just as an actress in general, what you have created, what you've done. The the biggest delight that I have had um, consistently is the film festival circuit. Mm. And um, going to, you know, having the privilege to travel around the world and go to these film festivals and meet these people. And to every time I go to a, a film festival, I'm shocked that people are there, that they showed up. And yeah. that, they're, that they're like, we, you know, we came to see this. We, we, we're here for you. Wow. And that is the most humbling, amazing so humble. feel. Yeah. It's, it's I, you know, yeah. that's what, what to me has been the best part of this is... Um, is truthfully like you know Germany, okay, Japan, yes, London, all mm-hmm. these places, and I'm like, how do you even know about this? <laughs> like, it's really, it's very strange and mm-hmm. magical, and mm-hmm. that's been absolutely my favorite part. Wow, is meeting all these people around the world and and talking to them about what their life is like and you know their experience of being gay wherever they are is mm-hmm. that to me is fascinating. I would love to do a you know a, a reality show about yeah. that. Like, what's it like to be gay and all different parts of the world because huh. it's so different wow. everywhere everywhere you go it's very true that's very true and we shouldn't take for granted our privileges wherever yes. you live so that is very true absolutely and, and also we should honor uh those who have pioneered before us i, I yes. constantly feed that to my children look you are um you have as much freedom as you have because of what I've done and I have much as much freedom as I have because of what my parents have done. Right. And so we're all in this together. We're connected. Is there anything else you want to say to your fans, your friends, your supporters? Just or? thank you for, for hanging in there. Um, mm-hmm. You know, with every artist, there's downtime when we're not doing something and we're mm-hmm. sort of gathering our our <laughs> strength for the next project. But yeah, thanks for hanging in. Strength. Yeah, well, <laughs> it, takes, it takes a lot out of you to keep doing this stuff. So I thank you it. for sticking around and I hope that um, that you enjoy the upcoming uh, offerings. Absolutely. It's going to be a fascinating time for you and we're going to get busy supporting you even more. Um, thank you for coming. Thank you for having cuddling me. cuddling on our pillows great. with us. Yes. You are amazing. I love you your energy. You are amazing. Oh, don't say that. Give me a happy <laughs> blush. Um, no, your legacy that you have uh, created uh, has been truly inspirational. Thank you. More than you know. I hope you were able to just show you a little bit of that tonight um for me i've been just you know moved by your bravery and fearlessness Thank and you. if you listen really closely i think you can hear the satin lounge applauding that's, that's <laughs> pretty awesome it. you I hear, hear them? Yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> they're pretty awesome please continue to create vibrant and intelligent and hilarious and sexy characters people we can relate to uh, that we can fall in love with and um, just continue to do you. Just Thank do you. you. And we'll support you 100% all the way. And know that you're welcome to come back here. Well, I will. I will be back. Time. Yes. <laughs> I will be Jill back. Jill Bennett is coming back to the Satin Lounge. Note the date, the time. Everybody got that? Okay. Yes. I'm very excited for you. And um, uh, we want to, you know, get some tickets away. I, I'm so Let's excited. Let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, you can step back with me for a few minutes to do that. Yeah, sure. Cool. Let's get back to the music. Um... You're listening to The Satin Lounge with Kia Renee uh, with Jill Bennett and her PJs uh, here with us on our pillows. And <laughs> we want you to breathe it in. <laughs> 